everyone welcome back to bethany's vintage fairy tale i'm so excited to be sharing with you guys another christmas decorating video we're going to be doing my dining room and my kitchen today and i'm going to be starting off on this window that we have here in our dining room it's quite a large window and i wanted to add a little garland just at the very top here so i'm using a base garland and i'm actually using two of them layering them on top of each other just because they are pretty sparse and i wanted a little bit of a fuller look and i'm just going ahead and kind of weaving them in and around the uh, valance that's already on the top of the window here and then I'm just using the bristles of the garlands to kind of attach them together and fluffing them out just to kind of give the illusion that they're a lot more full than they actually are these are actually dollar store garlands that I picked up this year and I'm just going ahead and kind of adding them together just to make it look a little bit more full since greenery can be very expensive. This is a similar technique that I shared with you guys on our banister DIY going up my staircase. I did the exact same thing and I kind of wanted to keep that theme going up here in my dining room. So now that we have the garland all attached, I wanted to add in some grapevine wreath. This again, this is the same technique that I did with the Christmas tree as well as our banister garland as well. And I wanted to just kind of make sure that everything was cohesive. I wanted a little bit of a rustic texture and I love adding these in. They're very inexpensive to use. And once you've broken up one of the grapevine wreaths, you get a lot of material to work with. And I just cut these a little bit smaller since it was going into a garland. And then I'm just attaching all of the individual pieces into the garland here using the bristles of the garland to hold it in place. And now that we've added in all of our grapevine, I wanted to go ahead and add in some ribbon. So I got this beautiful textured ribbon from Michaels. I've actually bought this a couple years um, in a row just because I absolutely love it. It gives such a beautiful glow. And since it is kind of an open weave texture, the lights really shine through it and just makes it look so beautiful. And I love the champagne gold. It's very nice and romantic. And I absolutely love this one. So I just went ahead and went all the way around the garland, just creating a series of loops. Oops. Again, using the garland itself to hold it in place by crossing over the branches over themselves just to get a nice secure hold. And now that I have the champagne ribbon all in place, I wanted to go ahead with a secondary ribbon. So like I mentioned, my color scheme for this area of the house is a ruby red, an emerald green, and this champagne gold. So I wanted to make sure I incorporated all of the colors into this garland just to make sure that the space was looking cohesive. So for our next step, I wanted to go ahead and hang some ornaments in the window. This is one of my favorite DIYs to do. I do it almost every year and I just kind of change up the theme. So what I'm doing is I'm using fishing wire. I like this because it's super thin and you can barely notice it and it gives you a lot more space to work with when you're hanging these ornaments. If you use ribbon or anything thicker, it can take away from the look of having these ornaments dangling in the window. So I like to have something that's just kind of um, colorless. That way you can really focus on all of the beautiful ornaments and it's super easy to do. I just tied them directly onto the balance that's at the top there and then just kind of staggered them so you have some quite low, some high, some in the middle and it just tried to have them nicely staggered so that it would create a really beautiful effect. And then you also want to go ahead and try to choose different kind of shapes as well. I find that adds a lot of visual interest. So you'll see I have a lot of those teardrop ornaments and then I've got different sized balls in here and then a few other specialty ornaments. I'm just kind of making sure to place those evenly around the window here. Again, sticking with my color scheme just to make sure that everything looks beautiful and cohesive. And I just absolutely love how this DIY turned out. So for the next idea, I wanted to go ahead and hang a garland over this um, entranceway to my kitchen. If you look behind me, that's where our dining room is and then it faces directly into the kitchen. And this is the perfect area to hang a garland. I absolutely love decorating this for Christmas. It's such a nice open space and I really find that the garland nicely frames this area. So I'm super excited to share with you guys another garland DIY here. I'm doing the same thing. I'm just using a base garland. This was from Walmart and it was pre-lit so it made it really easy 
to hang up. I didn't need to add anything additional to it. And I'm doing the same thing with the ribbon here, just creating a series of loops, using the garland itself to hold it in place and just kind of weaving it all the way around the garland. This Nutcracker ribbon I love so, so much. I picked it up at Michael's last year. And the great thing about ribbon is if you store it carefully, you can reuse it year after year. That way you get so much more bang for your buck that way. And these beautiful ribbons never go out of style, especially this Nutcracker ribbon is very timeless. Same thing with this textured ribbon. I find that these are really easy to kind of incorporate into decor year after year. So going ahead again, adding in this champagne gold, I wanted it to tie in a little bit with the other garland that we did, and then also just give a beautiful added texture. So for our next step, I wanted to go ahead and add in a little bit of red, just because I do have some red kind of in and throughout my home. And I wanted to just kind of add these frosted berries in and around the garland. I had 14 of these, so I did seven on each side just to kind of make sure that it was uniform. And then again, I'm doing the same thing, using the bristles of the garland to hold them in place and kind of placing them in different directions. That way it looks nice and whimsical and it kind of gives it a new effect rather than just having them all facing the same way. I think this looks Looks really nice and adds a lot of texture again in this area of my house I don't have anything flocked it's more of kind of an icy kind of look that's how I would describe it with my Christmas tree and my garlands so I thought this be these berry picks would really kind of complement that iced effect and now I'm just going ahead and adding in some Walmart ornaments. This was a huge pack that I picked up this year, and I absolutely love how they had all of my theme colors, even including that chocolate brown, which I did feature on my Christmas tree. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. It was such a beautiful tree, and I wanted to kind of mimic the same color scheme here. And don't worry, I know it's a little off center at the top there. The cord kept kind of sliding, so I do fix that at the very end there. And then we'll add a bow just to kind of cover up that little um, bit of wire there. But I'm just loving how this is turning out. It just frames my kitchen so beautifully. And I absolutely love this at nighttime when the beautiful lights are just shimmering. So now we're going to go ahead and make our own DIY garland. So I picked up these Michael picks. They're a beautiful kind of flocked pick. And what I'm going to be doing is layering them on top of each other and wiring them together to create a swag or a garland kind of effect. I'm using this Amazon wire, which you guys will have seen in all of my videos. I have used this over and over and over again, and I still have not had to purchase a new roll. It's still going strong. So <laughs> super awesome, very affordable. And I'm just placing these directly on top of each other using that wire and kind of fluffing out the branches and then just going all the way down. I had six of these picks and what we're going to be doing with these is I have another entrance to my kitchen off to the right hand side and in my living room if you guys have seen those videos I went for a very romantic flocked kind of winter wonderland theme in my living room so I wanted something that would kind of tie that in when you're facing the other side of the house if that makes sense since I do have two very different themes going on my living room is all of my favorite girly pinks and um, winter wonderland and then my dining room and my kitchen is very traditional that way my family gets the best of both worlds and I wanted to create something that could kind of sit in the middle here and that would be nice and neutral so now you can see how they're all looking together they're lo looped all on top of each other and here you can see how the wire has been attached again super easy DIY you could use this as a centerpiece for your table you could hang this vertically on a wall as a swag or you could attach it on top of an entrance way to a door or your kitchen just like how I'm doing here and I love how it's super neutral it really ties in with my living room decor and kind of um, is a good bridge between the two different decor styles So this area of my dining room is where we have our uh, red and green Christmas tree. And then I have this beautiful bookshelf here that I just wanted to add a few Christmassy touches to just to kind of go with the rest of the theme. So I found these beautiful kind of faux mercury glass ornaments this year at HomeSense. And one of my favorite Pinterest inspired DIYs is grabbing these beautiful thrifted jars and just filling them with your favorite ornaments. It's such a cheap and easy DIY. It takes no skill. Anyone can do this and it just makes such a beautiful look. I've seen this done with all different kinds of decor styles, shabby, chic, traditional, you name it. You can do anything with this. And I love the mercury glass, how it just really sparkles in the clear jar. 
And then since brown was one of my accent colors, I wanted to add just a little bow to the top. And then I'm just adding in a few pieces of decor, kind of continuing that ruby red emerald green theme. And then the photo that's in that frame there is actually from my Pinterest account. If you guys follow me there, it's the same handle, Bethany's Vintage Fairy Tale. I love printing out my favorite pictures and kind of placing them all around my decor. I just absolutely love having the kind of Pinteresty vibe in my home. And I think it really helps to kind of bring in my color scheme a little little bit more and I'm just loving these kind of more moodier tones with the darker red and green. I think it's a really nice spin on kind of a traditional Christmas. And then on the top shelf here, you guys can see the bottom two rows, we have all of our normal books, but at the top here, we didn't really have much to put here. So what I did was I actually painted some thrift store books in my theme colors. So I have the emerald green, the ruby red, and the chocolate brown, and I filled about half of the shelf with those books. And then I had a few more of those mercury glass ornaments. So I just kind of wanted to place them on this tray. Believe it or not, this tray is actually from the dollar store. It's plastic, but it looks really realistic, and I thought it was really pretty pretty just to add a few more of those mercury ornaments to my bookshelf here. And then on the wall here, I thought it needed something else, so I just kind of added in a few more of those teardrop ornaments, just hanging it with some ruby red ribbon. And then off to the side, this is on the other side of our Christmas tree, we have our Christmas village. This is my husband's tradition, he always decorates the Christmas village every year, it's his favorite thing to decorate for Christmas, so he did that for me this year. And then I just added a few pieces of wall decor to my shelf here, and a beautiful handmade swag that I actually made a couple of years ago with some Michael's picks and ribbons ribbons and then a little swag off to the side here with the same greenery that I had in my tree which I just thought added a little bit more of that frosted texture and more of that earthiness that I love about Christmas. And then of course we have my buffet here. So I love styling this every season. It's so much fun to decorate with. This was actually my grandma's, so it's this really special piece to me. And I just added in a few different um, DIYs here. This little Christmas tree was from HomeSense and I added some sequin fabric to the base just to bring in a little bit more fun and whimsy. And then I wrapped a whole bunch of Amazon boxes just with some really pretty paper, just as a pretend DIY and place those on the top of my buffet. And then in the inside of my buffet here, I have this beautiful marble and gold tear tray that I bought years ago, and I added in a few more DIY presents. If you guys remember, uh, way back in October, I posted a DIY ornament video, and I had a whole bunch of scrap fabric left over. So what I did was I hot glued a whole bunch of old makeup boxes that I had been collecting over the past year, and just added in some beautiful fabric to create these DIY little gifts. So it was a great way to kind of um, make sure I used all of my scraps, and then just use some boxes that would have been otherwise thrown away. And then on the bottom shelf here, I like to have these plates out where they're easily accessible. These are some plates that I use all the time for my videos, for my tablescapes, and then for family dinners. So I like to just make sure that they're always available and then just added in a few more pieces of decor. Now we're gonna go ahead and create a beautiful centerpiece for my dining room table. So what I'm doing is I'm using one of my Michaels garlands and just placing it down directly in the center of my table and then just making sure to give it a really good fluff. This garland is also pretty sparse as well so I wanted to make sure that I pulled out all of the branches just to make sure that it could look as full as possible. And again, this is a base garland, so you're not going to see a whole lot of it. It's really there just because it's made of wire and it makes it really easy to attach things onto and gives it a little bit more fullness. So 
what I'm doing is I'm just going ahead and using the base garland and kind of intertwining it with these picks just to make sure that it looks really natural and also using the wire from the base garland to really hold it in place and again just kind of giving it a really good fluff just to make sure that it looks as natural as possible. These flocked picks from Michaels are very very large so I only needed four to actually go down the center of my tablescape which was awesome. I also wanted to add in a little bit more of a pop of red. So I got these beautiful poppies from Michaels. They're gorgeous velvet and they have a little bit of embellishments on them. And these are actually the same florals that we used in our floral clusters on my tree just behind the table here. So I thought it would be a really nice cohesive element and a nice pop of color. And I'm just going ahead and adding these directly into the center of the garland, pushing the stem of the floral all the way to the bottom of the um, garland here, just to make sure that it wasn't poking out or anything Thing like that and then using all of the base garland to really hold that in place again the base garland is really there just to kind of act as a, a base to hold everything together you don't really see a lot of it it just adds fullness and some stability since it is all made of wire and then I just made sure to kind of evenly distribute all of these florals within the garland here I just love this pop of red I think it's so striking and just absolutely gorgeous and reminds me so much of that classic traditional Christmas and then now I'm going to go ahead with some beautiful ribbon. This was some leftover ribbon that I had from the garland that we did above the window. And I wanted to make sure that it didn't go to waste. I absolutely love this ribbon and I think the color of the trees, that beautiful emerald green just tied in so perfectly with my design. So I wanted to make sure I used it up and I'm going in and around the garland again using the base garland to kind of hold that in place and kind of using it in a zigzag formation just to give it a little bit of whimsy and texture and then going all the way down the garland with this beautiful ribbon. And then for our final step, I thought this garland needed a little bit more of a gold element since gold is one of my main colors this year. And I had these beautiful dollar store um, painted pine cones. So I just wanted to kind of add in a little bit more of a touch of gold color. And then I'm just going ahead and kind of adding these in and around the garland, wherever it looks like it just kind of needs something extra. Just placing these kind of in a zigzag formation, just like the ribbon here. And I thought this was the perfect touch just to add a little bit of something extra to this garland. And I absolutely love how this turned out. It's very simple and very easy to put together. And I love how it's all one piece, so it's very portable. If you need to move this off of the table to play games at Christmas, or if you need a little bit more room for dinner time, you can go ahead and remove this easily off of the table. So I love having that kind of portable element too. So now we're going to go ahead and decorate my kitchen. We do have quite a small kitchen here. So I try to keep the decor fairly minimal. That way everything is very functional. I'm just adding in a few key pieces that I've kind of collected over the years. I typically do kind of a gingerbread theme in my kitchen. I love that kind of sweets theme. I love baking. So I do have a lot of that kind of um, classic gingerbread decor here. I have some beautiful thrifted pieces like that gorgeous cutting board I picked up a few years ago. And then these wooden cutting boards I absolutely love. I make charcuterie trays on those every Christmas and I love having those out. Oh. 
So one of my favorite decorating ideas for my kitchen is always doing my tiered tray. I love changing this up for the seasons and for the holidays and just adding in a few pieces that I've collected. A lot of these pieces are all from the dollar store so they're very inexpensive. A few of them are from Hobby Lobby that I all got on sale and I'm just kind of adding in a few of those gorgeous little characters there. Again kind of keeping with a really traditional theme here a lot of reds, whites, and greens and just kind of placing a few different decor elements throughout the tray. Uh, with a tiered tray you always want to make sure to decorate 360 especially because mine is on an island here you see it on all angles so it's really important to kind of make sure that you decorate all of the sides not just the front and I'm just adding in a few cute little baubles here and there those are some straws that I picked up at the dollar store and then I got this beautiful house actually from my husband a few years ago from the dollar store it actually lights up as well which is really fun I'm just kind of adding in a few pieces to the back of my tiered tray just to make sure that I've got a, a cute little angle on all sides here. I'm adding in these adorable little pepper shakers. These were actually a wedding gift that me and my husband got so I love having those out every year. And then I had one more of those frosted berry picks left over for my garland so I thought I would just kind of pop that in there just to kind of make sure that everything looked nice and cohesive together. So just loving how this turned out. It's so fun and cute. My daughter absolutely loves playing with the little train there and all of the little characters this is so much fun for her and I love having our kitchen just kind of in a really whimsical kid-friendly feeling. So in our kitchen here we do have these three little floating shelves and I love adding some seasonal decorations to here as well. Again I'm kind of keeping a really kid friendly vibe going ahead with that kind of gingerbread, um, snowman, Santa, you know that really classic Christmas theme and I'm just adding in a few pieces of decor here. That gorgeous uh, vase is from HomeSense and this bowl is from Superstore Canada and then I'm just kind of adding in a few decorative pieces here and there. A lot of these are things that I've collected from Dollar stores, thrifting, um, all sorts of places and I just love having these really special treasures kind of throughout my home. This little cookie jar is actually from Walmart. I've had this for years. I think we got this the first year we were married. So I love having it out every year. And baking with my daughter is one of my favorite Christmas traditions. So I always love having this out easily accessible so we can fill it with all of our famous, our favorite Christmas treats.
So one of my favorite DIYs that I love to do every year is create these snowmen out of these fish bowls. And I'm just adding in some faux snow from the dollar store and a few bottle brush trees that I added in a couple of little ornaments too. And I'm just kind of layering them on top of each other, the biggest one on the bottom and then going up to the smallest one just to kind of create a snowman. I thought it was such a fun DIY and super budget friendly and easy. Everything inside of here is all from the dollar store. And then I got these fish bowls at Michael's with my 40% off coupon to save a little bit of money. So I hope you guys are loving this simple DIY. It's so fun to put together, very easy and budget friendly. I just absolutely love how you can see it from all angles. It makes it really great to have it on my island so you can see it wherever you are in my kitchen. It's so fun and adorable. And then I wanted to add in a cute little hat. This is something that I made as well. It's actually just some felt and some ribbon. Super easy. And I just kind of layer these together. I have my tiered tray and my snowman. I think these are so fun. And it doesn't take up a lot of room. You can still use the island. That way you can still access your kitchen and get to all of your different appliances. But I just like having a few fun pieces of decor just to bring a smile to my family's face and just have that really cozy, warm Christmas feel so I really hope you guys enjoyed my decorating today taking you along to see my kitchen and my dining room I hope you guys have gotten some inspiration on how to decorate your homes this holiday season let me know down in the comments below are you guys all done decorating for Christmas are you still working on it it always takes me forever that's why I start so early on in this season just to give you guys all of the different inspiration but thank you guys so much for watching the video I really appreciate you guys being here with me today and I love you guys so so much I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.